This is The Monster's New Undies by Samantha Berger. Of all the days I dread, not one can compare to the day that we shop for new underwear. I'm just fine with no undies at all. Or the undies I have, though they are a bit small. So what if they're old? So what if they're torn? Who cares the elastics completely outworn? Oh dear. These are my undies. A sweet work of art. Uh-oh. My undies. They just fell apart. Um, do you have a small towel or maybe a leaf? I thought that no undies would be a relief. Turns out it feels just a little bit cold and a little bit exposed and a lot to behold. Okay, we'll go shopping for new underwear. But which ones we get? <laughs> I really don't care. Leave it to my mom, cause only she'd find a whole store devoted to just the bee kind. Put down those undies, those aren't the ones. Those undies aren't worthy of dressing these buns. No polka dots, no shooting stars, no checkerboards, no racing cars, no ice cream cones, no tiny whales, no rainbow hearts, no sailboat sails. Those are too long. Well, those are too short. Those look like a diaper. Those look like a skort. Those are too boxy. Those are too tight. Those are too clingy. Those glow with light. Come on already. Can't you just see? There are no new undies just perfect for me. Please leave me here in my undie-less slump. I guess there is nothing just right for this rump. Hang on a second. What's that on the rack? Behind all the rest hung way in the back. They look just like mine, but will fit like a glove. The moment I saw them, my tush fell in love. Gas, do you know what? These are the ones. It's like these new undies were made for my buns. I love my new undies with all of my heart. I'll wear them until they, too, fall apart. We'll take seven pairs, no, make it eighteen. They're the most monstrous undies this bum's ever seen. And when brand new undies are made just for you, there's something important you really must do. The new undies pose, the new undies dance. The new undies walk, the new undies stance. And scene. The end.